Ladies and gentlemen, if there is one phrase all of you has said at least once every month this year, it's been, it can't possibly get any dumber. And we would all be incorrect because seemingly after 11 straight months, you'd think we would learn, but nope, it does seem to always somehow get stupider. And yes, I don't learn apparently either because I imagine many of you will say, but Spoon, we still have one month left. You know something dumber is still going to top this. Yeah, let's pray for once the stupid doesn't get any worse. Enter this moment. We have not been listening. The people in power have not been listening. Listen here, you ditzy ass little melon ball. You stood on a step stool and chastised the entire UN. If people didn't listen to you, you wouldn't be on that friggin' stage. You were talking flesh prop for the elites. Who the hell are you trying to fool here? I come here for a climate demonstration, not a political feud. What did he say? A political feud. By the way, if you're this one's age and you believe this cult is bollocks, you probably need a lobotomy. Or possibly suffered one. Uh, Plug is all the muscle prowess of a meerkat with cerebral palsy. And that Swedish one that desperately needs to get plugged so she can start a failing OnlyFans page. And I say that only because I feel she would somehow do less damage to civilization if she abandoned this gimmick and did that. And you know I'm right, which is a rather horrifying realization. And by the way, this is going to sound crazy and all, but this one? This one is a psychopath, I'm telling you. The spoiled entitlement, the arrogance, the beady, lifeless little eyes, the complete lack of any charisma whatsoever. Don't let any of that fool you. If she ever graduated beyond little elite puppet plaything and somehow got actual power, she would be Antichrist level of tyrant. This whole scene this is the whitest thing I've ever seen. What is this one wearing? It's like a freaking Russian babushka. <laughs> now hold on. Uh, uh, and yeah, because I still have the humor of a five year old, apparently. I mean, my good God, young people are seriously stupid, aren't they? How are you standing there holding a banner protesting the weather? No thought whatsoever. None. Nothing about how much power can their stupid green pet projects actually crank out, the material costs, the maintenance, what damage this would do to the environment. Do they care to know any of this? No, because it's not about any of that. It's about emotionally driven stupidity and how they will look in the eyes of others. Meanwhile, to anyone with two functioning brain cells to rub together, they look like useful idiots, because that's what they are. Like, is this the warmest we've ever been? No. Excellent, so it's safe to say we don't have a crisis. It's more fabricated than the size of a Kardashian's ass. By the way, has anybody else noticed? No one has ever stopped to ask, does it ever occur to you warmer weather might be, I don't know, beneficial to some regions? Maybe check out what the world was like when it was warmer. I'll give you a hint, it wasn't the apocalypse because we're still here. Or this, you know what this is? Do these plebs know CO2 is needed for plants to perform this feed and you know, grow? No, evidently not. Apparently I was the only one paying attention in biology because everybody else was too busy drawing genitals on the textbooks. So your war against CO2 is pretty much a war against mother nature herself, well done. It's like putting an anorexic patient on a caloric deficit under the assumption they might become a bloated fat ass and die of high cholesterol. Climate justice on occupied land. No climate justice on occupied land. No climate justice on occupied land. What the f I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Yeah, you and me both, Professor. What the fuck are these mongs talking about? What the hell is wrong with these people? We're a civilization played with cults of nitwittery. <sighs> Leftism and the internet has unleashed so much stupidity on the world, it's not even funny. Apparently the occupation makes a hell of a difference, still no protesting from any of these idiots about China or India, I wonder why that is. By the way, that's how you know none of this is in any way serious. It's the exact same vein as the Queers for Palestine thing, just performative wanking. It's like playing the algorithm of the internet cycle, somehow attach your political gimmick onto the current thing. Oh yes, you see, there's a territorial dispute over in the Middle East, something about occupied land. Now let me tell you how genderqueer theory can somehow solve this problem. And once that's done, I'll show you how oppressed people of the Skittle Squad really are and why they deserve climate reparations for colonialism. I can do all these things. Douglas? No, you fucking can't. Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you, Douglas. Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing. <laughs>